students today we will understand the four lab program to draw a color cube and allow the user to move the camera suitably to suit to experiment with perspective viewing so in this program we will understand mainly the perspective viewing concept that allows a user to move the camera position So the main objective here is to implement the concept of perspective cord viewing with the help of a cube. The two important characteristic feature of perspective viewing to be observed are objects appear larger as the viewer is very close to the object, and the objects are smaller as the viewer distance from the observer increases. let us understand the program how is it implemented the perspective viewing required header files are included eight vertex coordinate values for the 3d cube is been initialized so we have initialized the eight vertex coordinate of the cube as per this 3d object an array variable theta of float type initialized the degree of rotation along x y z axis with the value 0 axis variable of type int initialized with the value 2 by default rotation across the z axis viewer array variable of type float initialized the viewer position along the x axis and y and z axis is initialized with the value 0 in the main function glut any initialize the glut buffer glut any display mode will initialize a double buffer initialize the rgb color mode initialize the depth buffer initialize both the depth buffer and refresh buffer glut any window position is to set the window position 50 comma 50 glut any window size specify the size of the window 500 bit and i to 500 glut create window creates a window and name the window as positioning of camera my init function is called from the main function so we call my init function in my init function gl matrix mode will set the projection mode gl frustum function is used here as a perspective viewing function six parameter values are been passed here indicating what is x min x max y min y max near far plane distance to understand more a gl first term as a open gl perspective viewing function gl first term takes six parameter left coordinate right coordinate bottom top near far GL frustum always is a viewing frustum in the world coordinate system. So this takes left right specify the coordinate of the left right vertical flipping plane. Bottom and tip coordinate they specify the coordinate for the bottom and top horizontal flipping plane. And near and far they specify the distance to the near and far depth flipping plane. gl frustum as a function is a perspective function which gives what is the view volume shape your a truncated pilum truncated pyramid and the size of this view volume we have specified using the gl frustum so you can see this is the view volume and we have specified this view volume it is a clipping plane what is the x min x max y min y max and what is the distance front clipping plane and the back clipping plane so inside frustum we call this as a frustum in 3d viewing so whatever the object that is inside the viewing volume can only be displayed and whatever the object that appears outside the view volume cannot be displayed so a view volume always is made up of two plane called near clipping plane and the far clipping plane so all the vertical plane from near plane to far plane they define the clipping area gl matrix mode 
is again called here to change from projection mode back to model view mode. GL enable will activate the depth buffer. GLET display function is a callback function registered here is my display. So from the main function, my display function is called. In my display function, GL clear color will set the background color of the window. All values are being set with one RGB alpha. So we get a white background color of the display window. GL clear will clear the color buffer and also will initialize the depth buffer with the max value. GL load identity will reset load the matrix with an identity matrix by default. OpenGL 3D viewing function glue look at is included here where it takes upon nine parameter. The values of the parameter your viewer, the first three parameters specifies the viewer position. So that is the camera position X, Y, Z coordinate. And the next three parameter represents the look at origin X, Y, zero and the next Seven, eight, nine represent the positive y up vector. So here x is 0 and y is 1. So the view up vector is along the y axis. So glue look at function provides an alternative to GL translate and GL sequence for positioning the camera. This defines a viewing transformation. So this glue look at take upon the six parameter and the first three parameter here represent the high coordinate that is the camera position value and the next three represents the hat xyz that is the look at position of the object hat xyz coordinate value and the last three represent the hub vector xyz coordinate value. GL rotate to rotate the cube at an angle of at an angle of theta of 2 along z axis we call GL rotate again to rotate at an angle of theta of 1 to rotate along y axis GL rotate to rotate along an angle of theta of 0 and that rotates along x axis so the value of theta of the array theta with the index 0, 1, 2, we have initialized with the value 0. We call here draw cube function. Draw cube function in this function we draw a six phases of the polygon and for every phase of the polygon we specify the color separately. GL color will specify the color for the first phase of the polygon 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Next GL color will specify the color for the behind phase for 4, 5, 6, 7. Next GL color will set the color for the left phase 0, 1, 5, 4. GL color will set the color for the right phase 3, 2, 6, 7. GL color we can set the color for what is the bottom face 0, 4, 7, 3. GL color, we can set what is the color for the top face that is 1, 5, 6, 2. So in this function, we call the function draw polygon to draw every phase of the polygon, every phase of the cube. So we draw every phase of the cube as a polygon, as a separate polygon, which consists of four vertex coordinate. So in this function, we draw a phase of the cube, one phase of the cube using a primitive GL underscore quads. So GL underscore quad is used as a parameter value for the GL begin function that takes four coordinate value, the four coordinate value for a polygon here. This is the front phase of the cube. So similarly, all six phases of the cube can be drawn by calling the same function six times.
So my display function will draw a color cube. GL flush will clear the buffer and force the content object to be displayed on the window. GLUT swap buffer will always enable the buffer content, that is the buffer content to be displayed between the two buffers. Control come back to the main function. In my display, we have drawn the color cube. This program also makes an understanding about the keyboard interface. So we have another callback function registered in the main function that is keyboard function. Glut keyboard function here is used to call the keyboard function. In the keyboard function, we make use of three different keys to show the use of keyboard interface on the object. So I check upon what is the key. Suppose using the if statement, if key is equal to capital X, so the viewer along, the viewer is at, in the beginning of the program in the main function we have also initialized what is the viewer position so the viewer has been now positioned along the x-axis so we just increment along the x-axis every unit one by one that is the position we change the position user position by one unit so if i press a capital key capital x key then the viewer position has been incremented. That is, it moves at a distance with one unit distance. Suppose if key is equal to small x, that is, if a user will press a small key on the keyboard, then at wherever the position is, the position has been decremented by one unit. So we just move the user position front and behind along the x-axis similarly along the y-axis we make the user to move along the y-axis by pressing the key y and capital y small y capital z small z along the three different axes x y z so in this function we are making the user to move along the different axis along x y z so we are making use of three keys but changing the object shape that is as the object comes forward to the viewer position the object will appear bigger and as the object moves farther from the user the object appears to the user as a small object clut post read display will call the display function in turn again to display the object same content of the object multiple times In the main function, we have also registered one more callback function to implement the concept of mouse interface. So in this program, we can understand both mouse interface and keyboard interface. So the keyboard interface here allows the viewer position to be changed. So as the viewer position has been changing, the object appears bigger and smaller to the viewer. And similarly here, mouse interface is to show the spinning of the cube along the three different axes. So if button is equal to glut left button and state is equal to glut down, so object will be rotated along the X axis. If button is equal to right button and state is equal to glut down, the object is made to rotate along the z-axis. If button is equal to middle button and state is equal to glut down, the axis then is initialized with the value 1. That means the object will be rotating along a y-axis. So here, based on the mouse click of the user, we have implemented on the left button, the object will rotate along x-axis. On the right button, the object will rotate along z-axis and on the middle button, the object will rotate along one axis. 
so if based on the user click suppose the user clicks left button the object is to rotate along the x axis so we are going to call a spin cube function that will spin the cube along the axis specified so we will call the function spin cube so spin cube function so what the angle of rotation is incremented by 4 unit so once we keep on pressing this just clicking the mouse button the angle of rotation keeps on increasing so when it reaches the maximum it has to be again initialized back again to zero and we call glut post re display so that that will call the display function again So in the main function, callback functions are registered like my display keyboard mouse. And at the end of the main function, glut main loop will start the event processing of the function. So this completes with the program and the program output would appear to the user like this. When the user compile the program and run, we can see an object. To observe the keyboard interface, so just press capital X on the keyboard. When you press capital X on the keyboard, you can see that the object increases in the size. And when you press the small X on the keyboard, on the lower case, it is a lower case X on the keyboard, you can see that the object also will decrease. So this can be repeatedly checked for all the three different keys. Very similarly, you also can check for the mouse interface by pressing the left button, right button, middle button of the keyboard.